Happy Thursday, beautiful souls. I literally just jumped out of one reading. I am about to jump into another. I do not even know if I'm going to post this. So if I post it, it's meant to be posted. But if it doesn't post, then that's okay too. <laughs> Holy moly, the energy at the moment is like really insane. My channelings are getting a lot more deeper than I know what to do with at the moment. But I felt like I didn't need to do a collective reading for some particular reason. So like I say, um, excuse the lighting and all that because this, this isn't pre-programmed or whatever. You're seeing this in real time. But Spirit were basically giving me um, the message that you are protected for some reason. Those who know me know that I don't kind of use that word. Um, they... Um, because I feel like in the law of attraction, if you feel like you need to protect yourself against something, you're actually calling it in energetically. So use that word loosely. What I um, what they're saying to me is that there is like a cloak of protection, especially when it comes to light workers or those who are awakening up to their gifts and their abilities. We are being cloaked with protection at the moment, and that's just using it as a word. But when they were giving me this information, it reminds me of a message, I was, um, a conversation I had with my friend the other day. We were having a FaceTime and the clouds were coming over and we all know what they do with the clouds. They're not clouds. They're not real. But anyway, um, but it was so funny because I said, look at that. Look at that. The darkness is on the top, but the pink is on the bottom. And it wasn't normal. Let's just say that. But at the end of the day... Um, that pinkness now that I saw it a few days ago and the message they just gave me about this protection and this love and all that sort of stuff, um, the pink was on the bottom of the cloud, the darkness was on the top. So darkness energy may feel like it's very active, but there's more pink, there's more love that's here. Anyway, I, I, I can't rationalize it this is what happens in my world every single day um please 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 whatever you do at the moment keep doing high vibrational activities keep your thoughts as positive as possible um to continue with your self-care keep eating high vibrational foods keep moving your energy at the moment do you have something coming in that you're going to be celebrating very, very soon? They're telling me that a lot of you are going to be victors. This has been coming out in my private readings as well. There's going to be victory or triumph, especially if you hold your energy in a high vibrational space. Anyone who is trying to dabble in darkness, anybody who is trying to control, manipulate. I've been going on about this all week and I said, Spirit, can we get off this freaking subject um, for a bit, but obviously it's important, especially when it comes comes to anything got to do with substances and artificial happiness. Let's just say that there are people that are spreading or trying to control or manipulate, whether it is the you know um, that stuff or whether it's on the physical world. They're trying to manipulate the energy. And it's so funny because as soon as I try to tap into that warning, this warning kind of thing, or this high level of awareness or whatever, all the great bloody cards are coming out for it. <laughs> the, the Ten of Cups and the Three of Cups, man, this is like celebrating. Some of you are going to be celebrating some type of love-based connection here. Can be in relationships, can be in a career that you absolutely love, but I cannot dismiss the energetic manipulation that is being attempted right now. And it, I feel like they need me to say that it's bit really being ramped up. So it's really important that you take care of yourself. Um, they just want to say, just don't resist your own personal growth and expansion right now. Resist anything or anyone outside of yourself that is trying to dull your shine or trying to have their way with you or trying to dull your senses or put your energy down in some type of way. 
Now, as you've always heard me bantering on, it's about raising your vibration to stand in your power. Do not allow anything dark, negative, manipulative, um, hamper, or they just said temper. And that's probably why there's a lot of aggression and stuff at the moment because the dark is actually losing control. They're telling me the dark is actually losing control. They don't like it. It doesn't like it. Love will always win. There are higher levels of contracts. You are entering into a new soul contract right now. The light is at the end of the tunnel for you. A lot of you may be experiencing headaches, um, not being able to sleep. This could be just from being in your head, your chronic head. That that's, can be a toxic thing in itself. Or if you're influencing your energy with substances or anything like that, um, that could be hindering your growth and your expansion right now too. We are going through a massive death and rebirth. A lot of you are feeling really anxious, especially if you're a light worker, because that's the thing about energy. You don't, half the time you don't see it. It's like you don't see gravity. You know gravity is real. You know all that, but you don't see gravity. And they want me to say out loud that you do not see the light and the triumph and the um, the wonderfulness, the love that's coming and being spread across the planet because of the dark energy still trying to control and manipulate. Just remember you have free will in this life and only you can be an active participant in anything that influences you. So be very mindful of that at the moment because psychically we have a lot of really good, really, really, really good stuff. I pulled out these cards, the Lightseer cards, because these cards typically will show me the darkness. Like they'll show me where the darkness is. They'll ask me to transmute it. They'll ask me to point, you know, do what I need to do um, as a light worker. And it's funny because all the good stuff's coming out. We've got the Queen of Pentacles. This is more abundance, more value, more love, more prosperity, especially if you connect with nature and see the beauty in nature and connect with Mother Gaia and all that sort of stuff. There's a victory coming in. You are going to be triumphant. The love is going to outweigh the dark if you allow it. Don't dull your senses right now. Don't put on those rose-colored glasses. That's really, really important. See things for what they really are. See them who they are. Do not allow others to come in and influence your energy in any type of way. There's like a golden staircase that they're showing in front of me right now. And there's a light at the end of that tunnel. A lot of us are about to step through that light in the coming days, weeks, months ahead, they just said. It is going to bring in some type of emotional fulfillment. It's going to be a time to celebrate. Something's deconstructing here. Something's deconstructing. So if anyone does have a dark, methodical, occultish, um, witchy, whatever word or title you want to put on it if anyone out there at the moment is trying to use the darkness in any type of way against you against others it's going to fail it's going to fail yep shamans speak up they said especially the male shamans if you are a masculine shaman obviously there's no gender in tarot but if you are a shaman um, especially masculines, they keep pulling me towards men. They're showing me men in particular. Please step into your power right now and do the energy work and the energy circulation and protection that you can. They're telling me if you are from a nationality and you have... Um, because I feel like I want to do what's right by my culture. So if you do have a cultural background of some sort, please tap into that. That's very shamanic, obviously, because all cultures do things and honor things differently. We don't want to, we don't want to kind of focus on the dark um, too much, but we want to focus on on the healing of it. The awareness of it, they just said. Yeah. They're requesting that all shamans, all light workers, anyone who does work with Mother Gaia to use Mother Gaia at the moment to reflect the darkness that's trying to be 
showered down upon us. A lot of people out there are stuck in a loop. They're stuck in a loop. This is the cycle that keeps playing out. So it's either going in your favor or it's not going in your favor. It's really hard for me to pick up on this energy because there's just so much influence. And it's going to take each and every single sovereign individual to raise their vibration, to shield their energy, to cleanse their energy, to connect back with Mother Gaia, to get back in nature, to practice your own faith system, especially if it's from a different culture. They're not going to win, they're saying. They're not going to win. They're not going to win. I, don't feel like, I literally feel like crying now. So if that's you and you feel like you're under the influence of something, please know that the light is going to outshine the dark. I've got a massive ring in my right ear now. You can see it. My empathy is picking up for people who are suffering from depression. Um... Mental illness, all that type of thing right now. <sighs> Loneliness, isolation. I don't know why, but they keep showing me like warlocks and wizards. You know, if you can, stay away from any type of dark art, especially if you do suffer from mental illness, mental um, dispositions to substances or depression, because I feel like the darker energies are trying to lure people into practicing some type of occultism or something low vibrational as a form of control and manipulation and... Sabotage, sabotage, they keep saying. Some people can be very active in this or they could just be willy-nilly. It's kind of, they show me, it could be as innocent as, you know, a bunch of kids getting a widgie board out or something, but then I can see, actually see the dark crafts. And I've turned my back to that because that's never been something that I've been involved in. But for spirit to, because um, they know I'm fully cloaked, I'm fully protected, I'm fully, I'm, I'm fully light, I don't think, I think I'm in a position where I can't shadow that anymore. Like it, it is, you've got the light and the dark. So um, a lot of people need to work on their chakra systems and opening their mind up. Don't shut down the mind, they say. Don't shut down the mind. You, you have all the resources that you need coming in to add value to your life, to add love to your life, to add independence to your life. Do not let the darker energies influence you right now. This could be something as simple as just following the friggin' news every single day or, you know, really stepping into the injustices of war and um, the opposite of who we really are. We are sovereign beings. We are extensions of positive source energy and anything that is trying to fight against that right now is really feeling it in their mental and emotional space and in turn probably turning to substances and in turn um, having their spirit step outside of themselves, becoming that darker energy and in turn influencing others or trying to manipulate others to come and join them where they are in their despair, in their worry, in their fear, in their concern Spirit are really pumping up the love and, and the energy right now to turn that round so we don't have a worldly consciousness of doom, gloom, and um, darkness. New world is being birthed. New world, new world order. Something's being birthed. It is absolutely beautiful. It is abundant. It is reciprocal. It is divine so light workers if you're struggling right now and i know it's not easy but please continue to shine your light continue to tap into your gifts continue to connect with spirit continue to see the light in the world even if the, the person people around you are the most sinister people around you continue to send them light and love right now this is how we're going to shift the consciousness of the planet shamans shamans come to the come to the fire shamans come to the fire firework 
I'll have to get in touch with my friend Kim. We need to do something. <laughs> Please know that karmic justice is coming. It's on its way. What thought, what you thought could break you can no longer break you. It's not going to break you. It may dismantle and defragment your energy a little bit, but you get to put the pieces together now. Um, and the resources that you need are coming in. So if you do require healing, if you do require higher perspective, if you require any type of faith, I literally just did a reading this morning and the lady that I was reading for was far from religious, but there was something about going back in, there was something connected with the religious factor for her. So this sort of bounces off that, but spirit wants you to know to use your, wants everyone to know to use your strength as a form of power not as a form of weakness. Do not dull your shine, whatever you do. If you can help, get out there and help. A lot of people are healing inner child traumas, generational patterns, all that sort of stuff. If you're stuck or you're stagnant, reach out to a professional that helps with that type of thing. And isn't it really weird that the light is so dark in here today? I'm not feeling dark. Don't you worry about that. Woo um... Yeah, emotional fulfillment is still coming in. We are in this tower. We are in this tower. So um, a lot of people are stepping up into their emperor type. That's that real masculine. But this is just you not allowing your beautiful energy to be influenced by anything that is less than, which we in the human world will consider dark or insidious. They just said insidious. You're going to cut that shit out. You're going to cut that shit out. Devil energy. Anything that's toxic, anything that um, is not for your highest good, toxic practices, toxic stuff that's been done, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. Yeah, some of you are just starting out with the page here. And here comes the abundance. You step into your light, you step into your sovereignty, you start setting healthy boundaries. You remember your morals and values. You try to see the good in everything. See the beauty in Mother Gaia. Start using Mother Gaia. You're probably receiving signs and synchronicities from Mother Gaia. Trying to lead you in the right direction. Try to lead you towards the right people. Be careful of energy vampires. They are part of the lower vibrational end of the stick. Sometimes we do have to go through a, a period of mourning. Going solo. Sticking to ourselves. We need to focus on the cups that are standing, not on the cups that have fallen. And we need to focus solely on those things that we have, I want to say control over, but we can't control anything. Things that we have intuitive power over, and that is typically ourselves, our mindsets, our thought processes, our belief systems, our light, our bodies. Yep. It's been cut out. It's been cut out. Hold on to your hats because the energies are going to get really wild and frisky. Um, stick up for yourself in a, in a healthy way if you can. But there is a time of celebration that's coming up. There's a time of celebration that's coming up for you. It's all going to make sense very, very soon. Those who choose to remain blind and choose to... Continue with this dark energy. This is their karma. This is going to be their karma. They're going to be bound. They're going to be bound. They're going to be stuck. They're going to be stagnant. And the karmic debt. It's it's like it's a big mirror at the moment. It's going to be reflected. It's going to be reflected. So if you have people, places, things around you at the moment and they feel that they can keep you this way, but if you break out of this, take all these swords, put them in your hand and hi ho silver away. Choose to go towards the light. Choose to go towards your faith system. Choose healing. Choose love. Choose all that positive juju, which a lot of people yawn at. But hey, not my circus, not my monkey. Those who are projecting negativity, darkness, trying to manipulate, trying to do magic, trying to um, influence in a negative way, this is going to happen. This is their rewards. The people that aren't doing this, that are coming out of this, that are going high, high, silver away, I'm going to start hanging out with cool people. 
I'm starting to raise my vibration and look after my holistic self, doing all that positive stuff. You have beautiful commitments coming in with the Ten of Pentacles here. This is all my cups are overflowing. I have it all. I have it all. Bring that shit on. You have a time to celebrate coming up for you. You're giving birth to a new life. Please go for it. Um, this is what's going to happen to those. And this come out in the collective reading on Friday. This is what's going to happen to those who think that they can keep others in the darkness or pull the wool over their eyes or manipulate or control or anything like that. There is victory coming in for you light workers. So please step up to the plate. Do what you need to do. More pentacles, more abundance, more joy, more freedom, more liberation. Especially if you use your knowledge and your power for good instead of evil. Um, we'll chuck the devil out energy over this side because we don't do that here. If you are interested in shifting your energy, I do have my manifestation program opening up as a membership on my channel here. So look into that. We've got the Two of Cups. We've got Divine Unions. We've got powerful, powerful people. So if you are a healer, maybe it's time to network and start connecting with other healers. Because um, they just told me that the group of modalities together combined can be a quite a powerful force. So healers unite. Um, and yeah, look at the third eye chakra is here. The crown chakra is it's opening up right now. A lot of people are scared about it. They're drowning it out. Um, yeah. Any which way, guys. The devil is going to be destroyed. It's part of this tower moment. What you put out there is going to come back to you. You put yourself in the position. You put this in the position. So those who are concerned, and it's not, a lot of people would say it's revenge or anything like that, but those who are concerned that whoever did something untowards towards you is not going to receive their karma or whatever, it, it, it's, it's coming in. It's coming in. Those who stood in their strength are going to get their karmic justice. I think I felt like I needed to say that today for some people who feel like they're losing hope. That's why I wanted to go in that sadness and, that, and I really wanted to bore my eyes out and stuff like that. Please know that your karmic justice is coming in and you may not even get to see it in this lifetime, but it doesn't matter. Spirit wants you to know that on an ethereal, high vibrational loving space, that karma is real, karma is justice. I don't know why they keep going, making me go on about this karma all week. I'm kind of sort of getting a little bit sick of talking about it, but they just, they literally just said to me, because you're the mouthpiece. So I've got a big mouth. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not ashamed to do it because I'm heavily protected. I work on my energy. I'm high vibe all the time. Not a lot can influence me. So if I have to be your mouthpiece and I have to stick up for some of you who are sort of not quite in their power, but they know something's coming and they're being influenced by this energy, please know that what goes around really does come around. And um, yeah, maybe I'll let you, maybe Karma will let you watch and maybe it won't. So anyway, I'm going to go. Got another reading. But um, yeah, I hope that made sense. <laughs> Um, I'll see you live tomorrow, guys. I'll do the monthly for July. I'll do the monthly collective reading for July tomorrow. So keep an eye out for that. Anyway, back to spirit. Please, you are protected. And look, the light just come back out. <laughs> the light just come out. Oh, glad I got that on camera. So, mwah. all right, guys, I love you. I'll see you again soon. Bye.